we're here at the Petra entrance. Um, so when you arrive, there were some uh, please and security check as you go through. Uh, there's bathrooms right here. Um, bathrooms are fine, just no toilet paper. So bring some tissues along. They've got little stores uh, to sell things as soon as you walk through. There's an information desk and there seems to be a museum. We haven't gone to the museum yet. Uh, Anthony and Gabby are busy looking at the little shops to see if they can find anything they want to buy, souvenirs. And then we're going to take a walk through to the treasury. So we'll keep you updated and um, we're having a really good time. For us it's 10 in the morning. In January, after for a while, we thought we might not even be able to make it here today because it was snowing yesterday, and so they were saying because of danger and just because there's flash floods uh, in Petra that they just needed to check that it would be okay. So we will do our best. We are layered up um, as it is very cold, and we'll keep you updated. I think a big thing is they're trying to preserve what's happening here because of like the floods and the rains and the weather is going to break down um, all the Petra monuments and that sort of thing, and so. They're spending a lot of time and effort, I think, on making sure that it survives to um, maintain and protect, which I think is really cool. So we're busy walking from the entrance of Petra to the treasury. It's about a 1.2 kilometer walk, so I think that's less than a mile. Um, so far we've been pestered by everyone to give us a horse ride or to sell us a map or all sorts of shops and things and they're all kind of just wanting to get as much money as they can um, but otherwise yeah it's going really well and we'll let you know when we get closer Here, this is the treasury, um, the most famous of all the pieces here. And um, to give you more information on the place, you'll see their footholds that are along the side. And originally, they thought that the footholds must have been how they um, how they built it, how they got to going down. But in actual fact, that was not how they've done it. They've really proven that that could not have been how they went across. The top piece you can not see from how close we are right now, probably, but um, we'll show you it later, is one of the most unique designs of all of it, which they said must have been their culture in Petra. So, Petra was known for being very wealthy and very social. So they used to have, like they even said, um, they'd have like the water, there's like another village later that we'll find, where they have pools and everything. And the, they would basically entertain a lot. So this must be the theater, but they described it sort of as like a um, Las Vegas style, where they have like the water, where they do like the water um, shows or different things like that. So because they were very wealthy, they do a lot of entertainment and a little village was living here and this must have been their theater. Your Tell me to read it up. Alright, so as you can see, these pillars um, have fallen over. And when they were looking at this, they were trying to assess what had happened. And so they were also trying to look at why did everyone leave Petra? They knew there was a big flood and the flood did lots of damage. And so they thought people left at that time. But actually what happened is that there was a massive earthquake that pushed over a lot of stuff. And so you'll see how it's all fallen in like one direction. It's because it, it's because it all toppled over due to the earthquake. And they think that's a big part of the reason why everyone abandoned Petra back in the day. One small step for man. <laughs> <laughs> One giant leap. You're gonna make it. Two more steps. You have to do a jump when you get to the top or something exciting. <laughs> Everyone's feet are sore. Um, we have walked 10 kilometers 
we are not even close to the treasury so we're still heading back um, in the shade it's very cold <laughs> what are you doing i just got one of each to write a review because they're so good happy wanted to get some extras to take home and to also write a review I don't know what it does, but my hair has never felt this soft in my life. So um, I'm also gonna look at what the brand is and see if I, c I can find it back at home or what. But they were very kind. I just said, can I just have one more of each so I can sort of write a review on it? And they said, no problem. Nope. Good morning. Good morning. I feel so nauseous because we over ate at the buffet. You don't think so? I just don't know. We just said no. How to feel it? So we're here um, to see. This is uh, claimed to be sort of whether it's correct or not. It's claimed to be the rock that Moses struck uh, where the water came out of the rock and he was instructed by God to use his staff to strike it which then provided water for the people that were thirsty and hungry. To be honest we're not sure like we it's beautiful and we want to take this in and if that's a true story this is incredible um, but I think because we just know so many scams in this world you, you end up becoming skeptical of like is this the rock or not. Yeah. That's amazing, if it is. You see how it changes from here, it's, it's dry, and here you see the rock is like, it, it's dark, like it's wet, there's moisture on the rock. And we're in a building. Thank you so much. I want it to be real. Yeah. But I'm just skeptical. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, I think like it's, it's still significant to go, but I think it's, it is. We're being real to say, like, you can't, you don't know. Yeah. I would say it made me feel better that it wasn't, like, a price. Yes, to go in. Yeah. Tickets. No. You know, it's not like... They're, they're not making money off it. They're making money off of it. So yeah. why that would they share the... Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. So when we watched lots of vlogs, we didn't see um, any of the mountain ranges being shown and we just feel like it's really worth sharing. These drives are incredibly beautiful and that you can look down different mountains and just see valleys of uh, different mountains. I'm not sure we'll put like on our site like where we're driving through later, but this is definitely worth coming through here and just driving through and seeing the landscape. One day we will. James, you're getting my face everywhere. 